Fish farms are in a constant battle with algae blooms, temperature fluctuations, jellyfish infestations, low levels of dissolved oxygen, and more. There is a Canadian company that has focused on the development of aquatic ecosystems, and they seem to have found more than one solution. Recent years have seen increased criticism of fish aquaculture for several reasons. However, all the recent developments in the industry are set to improve fish farming and make it more environmentally friendly. Recirculating aquaculture systems, or RAS systems, are one such example. All these innovative setups are employing recirculating aquaculture systems to continuously replenish the fish with clean water while simultaneously removing waste. Everyone will now be able to enjoy a regular supply of fresh, delectable fish since the fish will flourish in the clean atmosphere. This method is not only cheaper but also more efficient and ecologically friendlier than conventional fish farms. Along with RAS, there are also some new breakthroughs which have completely revolutionized the aquaculture industry forever. To assist ocean-based fish farms better maintain water quality, safeguard fish stocks from algal blooms, and optimize development rates, Innovasi, a worldwide pioneer in technologically sophisticated aquatic solutions for aquaculture and fish monitoring, has launched a new aeration and oxygenation system. The automated technology is now being used on Canadian salmon farms, and it includes a digital valve system that can be adjusted remotely by computers or mobile devices. Tim Stone, Vice President of Product Development at Innovacy, called this a major advancement for the aquaculture industry, noting that it allows farmers to rapidly respond to changing environmental circumstances to keep their fish healthy and safe. With this system, clients can manage their farm from anywhere in the globe at any time of day or night. Innovacy's comprehensive aqua control technology, of which the new aeration and oxygenation system is a part, enables farmers to simply monitor environmental conditions and make changes individually or across the entire site. Farmers will now be equipped to deal with blooms of toxic algae, changes in temperature, diseases caused by jellyfish, and reduced quantities of oxygen in the water. According to Stone, our end-to-end -end aqua control system eliminates much of the uncertainty associated with fish farming by empowering operators to make data-driven choices in a timely manner to provide the best possible growth environment for fish. Innovacy is revolutionizing aquaculture and advancing the science of fish tracking with cutting-edge technology and dedication to research and development in order to ensure the health of our marine and freshwater ecosystems for future generations. They have 250 employees across the globe and offer comprehensive end-to-end -end solutions for fish farming and aquatic species research, including high-efficiency, long-lasting equipment, knowledgeable consulting services, and cutting-edge technological platforms and products that provide unparalleled data, information, and insights. Lost fish and slow growth rates are two of the major challenges to successfully operating an ocean-based fish farm. Even though there are a variety of factors that might contribute to each of these difficulties, environmental factors are often at the forefront. However, aeration and oxygenation may help alleviate both of these issues. In both cases, diffuser assemblies installed at the base of each fish tank are linked to a network of valves and supply pipes. Then. Depending on what the operators want, they may either add air or oxygen to the water in each pen. Despite their similarities, the two systems serve distinct functions. What is aeration and what is oxygenation? And how are they going to solve these major issues? An air compressor powers the dispersed air distribution system of a fish tank's aeration system. By forcing water upwards, Oxygen is distributed more evenly, and temperatures in the enclosure may be regulated for the fish's comfort. Aeration is used to prevent the growth of toxic algae, enhance water quality that has been degraded by tarps or lice skirts, and stabilize the water temperature. While oxygenation is a method of providing oxygen to the fish by the diffusion of air, much like an aeration system. When dissolved oxygen levels are low or have decreased suddenly to the point that fish will not feed, Oxygenation is employed to prevent hunger and death. Improvements in fish health and increased eating development may be seen almost immediately after adding pure oxygen straight into the enclosures. Following the 3M technique of monitoring, mitigation, and management is the best way to guarantee healthy fish through aeration or oxygenation. Effective aeration or oxygenation strategies always start with careful environmental monitoring. 
dissolved oxygen, water temperature, plankton levels, and currents are all crucial for the well-being of farmed fish, and their farmers must keep a constant eye on them. Fish farm workers may begin preparing a mitigation plan after they have a thorough understanding of the circumstances in their fish cages. With the use of environmental sensors, pens have their air and oxygen levels constantly adjusted by human caregivers. In order to identify the optimal method for the various stages of the grow-out cycle and the varying water conditions, it is necessary to make modifications to the system. In order to address environmental conditions over the long term, it's necessary to create a comprehensive response plan that integrates and analyzes monitoring data in conjunction with the outcomes of any mitigation efforts. By collecting and evaluating this information, users may improve their tactics with time. Improved fish health and maximum growth for the best returns at harvest are achieved by adopting the 3M strategy for aeration and oxygenation from the beginning of the operation and then continuing with it to improve your project with time. There is a lot of overlap between the components of aeration and oxygenation systems, but their uses are quite distinct. Yet, in order to successfully overcome the issues encountered by ocean-based fish farms, both systems need a data-driven administration. After a lot of research and development, scientists have now another breakthrough was also seen this year. By introducing a chemical signal to seawater, researchers believe they may soon be able to convert carnivorous fish into vegetarians, therefore revolutionizing the fish farming industry. Surprised? Well, fish are known to respond to a signal, known as a pheromone, by becoming ravenously hungry and snapping at any food they can get their mouths on. Fish farming may appear like a solution to the issue of declining wild fish populations, but in reality, it has the opposite effect, since farmed fish eat several times their body weight in fish meal. A ton of farmed salmon can only be produced with the help of three tons of wild-caught fish. Scientist Andy Moore from the Center for Environment, Fisheries and Agriculture Science in Lowestoft, Suffolk, told the BBC, We've been discovering there are pheromones that do stimulate fish to eat. It's triggered by their olfactory system, and when they scent it, they start aggressively feeding. This is a game-changer for the aquaculture industry. The Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations estimates that the commercial fish farming sector is worth a total of $86 billion worldwide. China, India, Vietnam, Indonesia, and Norway are the top five nations in terms of the amount of fish produced through aquaculture. The production of food through fish farming is an effective method. When compared to other types of animals, such as cattle, the amount of land and water required to produce fish is far lower. Fish are also superior to other animals in their ability to effectively convert their food into protein. Still, there are several difficulties associated with fish farming. One is illness. Due to the large concentration of fish in a relatively compact space, aquaculture facilities have the potential to become disease breeding grounds. Pollution of the environment is another obstacle. Waste from fish farms and the chemicals used to treat fish illnesses may contaminate the water in the surrounding environment. The government's involvement in the aquaculture sector is becoming an increasingly significant factor. In the past, the sector operated with very little oversight, but that is beginning to change. At this time, the government is in the process of establishing guidelines for fish farms and is aiming to enhance working conditions as well as the surrounding environment. The engagement of the government in the aquaculture business is an encouraging move in the right direction. Fish farms will be required to improve working conditions for their employees, as well as the environment, as laws become more restrictive. This will result in goods of a better quality, as well as an industry that is more sustainable as a whole. Both the government's engagement and advancements in fish farming practices throughout the world are reason for excitement. These new techniques are healthier and more productive, and they may even result in a better final product. It'll be intriguing to observe how these new innovations grow and if they live up to the expectations placed on them.